Salve Amiki, mi nomen est Andros, and today I have some truly awesome stuff to show you. RTR Imperium Sorectum launched on the day of Rome Remastered release as little else but a few faction changes, and later evolved into something much larger, as I myself have showcased before. Rome Total Realism Imperium Sorectum has grand ambitions, including massive gameplay overhauls and improvements. It is still early in the game, however, so for now, one of the biggest changes from vanilla is the fact that all of the Roman factions, the Julii, the Brutii, and the Scipii, have merged into one unified Roman state as it was historically. Since then, however, there's been a good six months since the last major update for this grandest of Rome mods. But as we'll see, it's been for a very good reason and I think we'll get into the arguably absolute coolest part first, shall we? One of the things modders began doing right away in Rome Remastered was to change how the campaign map looked. Even RIS did this a while back, and these first iterations looked good even then. But friends, when I tell you that the 0.5 update will bring an entirely new experience to the game, I'm not joking. Check this out! The people at RTR Imperium's Rectum have made the largest playable campaign map in Total War history, approximately four times as large as the largest map in any previously released Rome or Medieval 2 mod. For a quick comparison, check out the vanilla map. It's absolutely insane what's been done here. And it's not just a size either, of course. There are literally more than 900 cities in this mod, with more to come as it's not even fully finished yet. In vanilla, mainland Italy has only about 10 to 15 cities. But in RIS, this number has risen to around a staggering 50. Of course, this change also goes for every other part of the map. Other than adding so much roleplay and possibilities to the map, including factions and cultures, of which there are tons, it also makes each region akin to something of a full campaign in and of itself. Whereas conquering Italy, Greece, or Iberia before was just a part of your journey, now they're entire chapters or stories in and of themselves. As Rome, Surviving will mean dealing with an entirety of barbarian tribes in the north, the massive Carthaginian Empire in the south and west, and even the Greeks in the east. And that's all in the first stage of the game. I mean, just take a look at Sicily. This island is itself a massive hotspot now, literally able to sustain a small empire of its own with a whopping 11 settlements. The same honestly goes for Crete and even Cyprus. Or what about Iberia, Britannia, Anatolia? Wherever you find yourself in the world now, you'll have the chance to become a massive regional hegemon, and to carve out an empire despite not even owning one-fifth of the world. The beauty of this map as a concept is that it can truly support several massive empires at once, and for it to be possible that they've never even met each other. That's exactly what a map containing 1,000 regions does to a mother and I am absolutely here for it. But the true beauty of this map is naturally also in its actual beauty. Just look at the detail here. Depending on where you find yourself, you'll come across lush forests, warm Mediterranean coasts, or scorching desert sands. The attention to detail here is stunning, as a new system of farmlands have been added. And yes, this evolves as you play, meaning that what may look like untouched land now will ooze with farmland later on. Playing side by side with its sheer size, this visual distinctiveness of each climate makes the regions of RIS that much more personal, and it truly feels like you're playing entirely different cultures depending on where in the world you are, and it feels that much more like you've come so far once you reach areas you've never been to before. In terms of factions, RTR Imperium's Rectum includes not only new playable ones, but also non-playable in terms of flavor. For example, there's an insane 18 new playable factions in this version, including Lusitani, Edetani, Masaisili, The Boy, Tullis, Bithynia, and Cappadocia. But more than that, the rebel factions has been fleshed out to be so much more than just generic rebels. Depending on culture and region, they actually adhere as closely as possible to the historical peoples and cultures that were there. And there's even a whole to learn from this. The time period of RS is of course a few centuries before the great migrations of late antiquity. And so, if we go to Denmark or Sweden, we can actually find many of the tribes here that will later come to inhabit Britannia or even France, like the Burgundians. This is the case all over the world and I find this kind of level of detail absolutely enchanting and exciting. Now, one of the most important things to note here is that RIS 05 is essentially a reboot for the mod. This has taken a long time, hence the many months since the last update, but be sure, future updates will be much more frequent as this cycle demanded a lot of repackaging and relearning of the engine and modding tools. 
In the process, a few things that didn't work optimally have been temporarily removed, like unique recruitment or government mechanics. But in their place, a fully functioning and more impressive mod has arrived. Now, we have an entirely new main menu with a looping background in the spirit of Total War of Old. We have new faction symbols, and what's more in terms of the map, all cities have been given relevant starting sizes, populations and buildings, and again, more unique buildings and features will be added in later updates. This truly makes those Eastern Empires that much more powerful from the get-go than the West, and you'll have a very different situation depending on where you begin. One of my most favorite additions has to be the new Oppidum system for Celtic factions. As you can see, this means that cities of Celtic cultures will have a completely different and historically accurate layout than for example those of Romans and Greeks, and it brings so much more flavor to the game. This layout system is and will be further expanded to other cultures as well, but this is an awesome beginning and a showcase of what's possible. We will also see entirely unique settlements for special cities like Rome in a later update. But even the forts have been expanded here, where the Roman forts now look much more like they did in reality. Of course, there is more to RTR Imperium's Rectum than maps and map changes. One of my personal favorite improvements regards the full remaking of units. This means that RIS now offers a few factions with units that look infinitely more detailed and polished than before, as they've been revamped with Romer Master graphics from the ground up. I mean, just look at these, and you'll see how RIS in Romer Master now even competes with and perhaps even beats Rome 2 in its shared detail and definition. RIS has decided to update the units of the Hellenistic factions first, and so, for this very first release with entirely new units, the factions sporting these deliciously updated units are Macedon, Iperus, Bactria, and yes, the massive Seleucid Empire in the east, and Ptolemaic Egypt in the south. And so how about we take a quick cinematic look at them now, shall we? As you can see, these units are absolutely gorgeous, a work of art each and every one, and each one actually looking unique as there are seven different variants to each one, meaning armor, clothing, helmets, hats, and even ethnicities and hairstyles can be mixed and matched. This makes for perhaps the most diverse and varied armies in the entirety of Total War history, and it's nothing short of impressive. If you'd like to know more, I have a full introduction to the Macedonian Antigonian faction, so make sure to check that out. This is only the beginning of RTR Imperium's Rectum, and the future holds so much more, like remastered models for more factions, more cities, cultures, government and recruitment systems, and perhaps even things like emerging factions or even faction transitions. But for now, Update 05 is a true representation of what this mod represents, a brand new dawn for this mod, and an entirely new way of playing Rome Remastered, and frankly Total War as a whole. As always, I can't wait to see what else the team has in store, but for now, this massive 05 update is planned for late September. If this video has piqued your interest, make sure to download RTR Imperium Directum today, or visit the Discord server for more information and previews. Thank you so much for watching. I absolutely love the dedication I put into this mod, not only making for a better Romer Master experience, but a deeper Total War experience than previously thought possible. If you enjoyed the video, I sincerely hope you leave a like, a comment and sub to the channel, and that you'll consider supporting me as a YouTube member or as a patron. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.